Hey Keaton, happy birthday. This is a little tutorial on the Korg Volca Beats that Jillian and I got you. Um, so, to start, a couple of things. On button and headphones and on the bottom can you see that in there? There's a speaker. So you don't need headphones, but I highly recommend using headphones. There's some sounds in here that you won't hear if you are only um, if you're if you're only listening to the speaker. So let's get started. I'm gonna put my headphones on, and they're big old headphones, and I'm gonna plug this thing in with this uh, this little headphone style cable. Will it adjust? Will it focus? Nope, oh well. Okay, I'm gonna plug it in and switch to my overhead camera. Now, I've got it on. You can see the tempo light is blinking and we have volume. That should be self-explanatory. That's how loud it is. Then the next button you've got is part level. So each one of these parts on the bottom, you've got, how many, you have 12, uh, no, not 12. You have 10 parts, the kick drum, snare, low tom, high tom, CL hat, and OP hat. That means closed hi-hat and open hi-hat. There's the clap sound, the claves, the agogo. I don't really know what that mi instrument is. I think it's um, I think it's like a cowbell, and then there's a crash cymbal. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start, and you can see that mine, um, you can see that it says live. So right now in live mode, all of these buttons will just make some sounds, and so kick, snare, tom, and hats have their own sound controls right here. Let's hear the difference in the sound control. So we've got um, the click of the kick drum that's gonna give it like some smack to the to the attack. Wooly, really bright, and wooly. Then the pitch, that is gonna turn the sound, the next one is the pitch, that's gonna turn the sound of the kick drum lower or higher. And to be able to hear that more clearly with headphones on, we're gonna adjust the decay. That decay is how long the note is. You hear that? Now if you got headphones in, you can hear that nice and long note. Mmm, that's nice. Okay. Now let's adjust the snare. You've got, what does it say, snappy? Yeah. And then you've got pitch. High pitch or low pitch. You can turn that. And then there's the decay. Okay, so we just spent some time playing in live mode. Now you're wondering, what does stutter mean? Let's try it. It's like a delay time. It's a, it repeats the note. Kind of nice. Now, that's nice and all, but now if we use it right now, it's on everything. And that's kind of fun, but we want to use that as a tool. So I'm going to turn it down. And I'm going to press the function key and turn global shutter off. That didn't do anything really, did it? I didn't remember what that did. Okay, 
let's go with the next thing that I do know how to do. And that's to recall something from memory. You press the memory button, and you can see it says load in where it used to say live. And now you've got eight places to recall some memory. Let's see if there are any sounds in my drum machine. So I'm going to tap the two, the second one. So I'm, you can see it's blinking. I'm already, I've already loaded the first one. Nothing really changes. Now, to hear that sound, we press play. And if we want to see the sound, we press step mode. And then where it used to say live now says step. And you can see each note that's being played, you can see there's steps. So let's talk about what this is. So this is a step sequencer drum machine. What that means is one measure is divided into 16 steps on your drum machine. So every one of these, those are all steps in step mode. So let's make a measure. And you can see I can change the part and that is represented by the little dot underneath each part. I'm gonna turn everything off. So everything that has a light, you can see that means it's on at that time on that step. And you're gonna have to tell me if this makes sense to you. It makes sense to me, but I haven't taught anyone how to use this before. So, okay. Now we have no pro nothing in the program. So step mode, and we went and we looked at all the parts by choosing the side button that says part. And we can see that there's nothing programmed into it. Let's program something into this drum machine. What I'm going to do is on the kick, I'm going to hit the first step. And then I'm going to count to the fifth step. And then I'm going to count to, what is it, five, six, seven, eight, the ninth step, 10, 11, 12, 13th step. So one, five, nine, and 13. If those steps are in place and we press play, we should hear a kick drum keeping a constant time going one, two, three, four. Now, that's boring. Let's change it up. Let's get rid of the 5 and the 13. Now, even more boring, but let's, let's, let's make it exciting. Let's change the part to the snare and add the snare to the 5 and 13. Now, you're starting to recognize this as music you've heard before. Let's make it even more recognizable. Let's go to the closed hi-hats and add those to every other beat. Now, close hi-hats, we might have to turn the part level. Can you see that in there all right? The part level, all the way up. You can turn your kick drum down. And I changed, I used the part button to move. And I'll turn it up. I'm kind of liking that. What are you thinking? Now we've got a drum beat. Now we're grooving. Now, we'll go to the open hi-hat and we'll put one in the middle. Yeah, I'm really grooving. Let's turn that decay down. Okay, here's where I think this drum machine gets real fun. There's a record button. Let's try to record something. That didn't work, did it? Motion record. Let's try it with the stutter.
I think we have to hit function and stutter and speed. Now we'll try it. And see the open hi-hats now made some sound. You can kind of hear them in the background. Let's try to do that with the snare drum. So we use the part the part button to navigate to the snare. And I'm going to hit record and then twist the depth knob. There we go. Now there's this thing called PCM speed. PCM speed. Okay. That's going to be for the claps. And we're going to put the claps on 1, 5, 9, and 13. And then turn the PCM speed. You can hear. You can hear how it changes pitch. That's still going. Okay. Let's put a crash on the downbeat. You got to change the PCM speed again. And maybe the volume. Cool. That's a cool rhythm. You hit the play button and it stops it. Now, maybe you want to play your own drum beat. Ooh, play your own drum beat. Boo -boo 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 into the drum machine. So. To do that, we're going to press function and we're going to clear all the parts. That's over in that's the bottom part here. It says clear active step part all. I'm going to clear everything. So now you can navigate all the parts and you can see that no, nothing 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 is on your step sequencer. So, what we're going to do this time is I am going to do this a similar thing that we just did before. We're going to hit put time in with our hi-hats. So we can hit play. While that's playing, I'm going to turn off step mode. Now we can play along. Okay, we played along. Now we hit, if we hit the record button, we can add any rhythm we want to play in manually. Now the claves. Great. We got a rhythm, and you can see the lights are all dancing and flashing. And you can hit the play button to stop your rhythm, and you can hit the play button to start your rhythm again. Okay, if you want to save that rhythm, you can hold the memory key. I think you have to hit function and memory to write something then it turns to say save and we can choose one of those slots to save it and you only get eight I'm not going to save that let's recall another memory let's see the third one so hold the memory button tap three it's gonna load and let's play it let's hear the sounds Okay. Kind of sounds like the last one. And that's because this is an analog drum machine, so this is being recreated with exactly the sounds as those knobs 
portray. Okay. If you have any other questions about how to use this drum machine, well, there's, there's, you know what, there's a couple more things. I, um, we can choose the active steps. So up until this point, we have been making music with 16 steps. That could be 16 steps per measure. That could be 16 steps per half a measure or for two measures you get to decide how your music sounds. And I didn't talk about the tempo. We kept the same tempo the whole time. Let's slow it down. That's pretty groovy. Gotta have that long bass drum sound. Okay, and let's double it. Let's go faster. So this was, the slowest it can go is 56 beats per minute. Let's speed it up all the way. That's too fast. Okay, I'm gonna stop the music there. Hold it. And let's go and look at all those bass drums. At this tempo, we might only use one. And these snares are probably fine. Those toms are probably fine. Let's get rid of half of these hi-hats and play it again. Okay, it's still chaos in the tom world. Let's hear it now. That's, now we can make some rhythms that are fun. Let's look at those claps. Okay, now I just got in a trance playing with the drum machine. So, if you have any questions, you can send me a text message. Or, send me a cool song. You can use anything to record it. It's a fun drum machine. See you around. <laughs>